when we go to push the hair back, boom, it bounces up and you've got long lasting bouncy volume. How you doing everyone? My name is Philip Wolf, hairstylist based out of Los Angeles, California. And today I'm gonna to show you a haircut style that a lot of people are talking about, the butterfly haircut. If you want the appearance of having short hair without committing truly to the length, or maybe you're growing out a shag and want to breathe new life back into your layers, then the butterfly haircut may be for you. But what is the butterfly haircut? What are the features of this style? How do you style it at home? We'll answer all that and more throughout this video. Here is our model for the day, Miss Viola. You can see virtually no layers, some very sparse dead ends. We're about to change all that today by doing the butterfly haircut. We're gonna be adding lots of layers. We're gonna start off with the Instacure Set Anti-Breakage Shampoo and Conditioner. This helps repair hair strength to reduce breakage and dry, brittle, and damaged hair. This is like liquid protein right here for the hair. So if you've got dry, damaged hair or over-processed hair, this is gonna help give you that anti-breakage that you've been looking for. Now that we're freshly shampooed, conditioned, and towel dried. I'm now going to spray in the Miracle Crater leave-in treatment, roots to ends, get a good amount going, and then we're ready to get started. We're going to be doing some cheekbone face framing, starting from there and blending them into the length. We're going to have some layers cut around the crown that are definitely shorter. It gives you the illusion of having shorter hair but maintaining your length. All the layers are blended to complement your natural hair pattern, and this actually works really well for wavy or curly hair too. As the hair falls, you're gonna see all those short layers in the crown. That's gonna give the support to all of the volume and all of that fun on feeling like you've got shorter hair. But in reality, you've got a nice blended effect into the length, and this makes it a lot easier to deal with and to style on a daily basis. We start off with no layers. We've created tons of face framing around the face, really opening up all those facial features, and then it all cascades down and blends into the natural pattern of the length. Of course, in the crown, we've got much shorter layers there that support the volume, and you can see how there is tons of movement, tons of texture, you still have your length, yet you kind of don't know where the layers start or where they end. That's where the blending comes in, which gives you a great result. So for Viola, we will be round brush blow drying. So I'm gonna be using some of the volume builder mousse and I'm gonna concentrate on the areas that I want most of the volume. So that'll be the top, the crown, and the front, and a little bit of the sides. Work it through with your hands. And then I like to even use a comb afterwards it's blow dry time. Now I'm here using a large round brush. One of the key things is you wanna promote volume of course. So I'm gonna rough dry and just sort of concentrating on the roots, high heat, high speed, get most of the moisture out. Now we're gonna get into the round brushing. So one of the key things here is you wanna make sure you take the brush, slide it back, hook it, and then pull it forward. So you hook it, pull it forward, and that way you're getting a good amount of tension on the brush. That mixed in with the air from the blow dryer is create volume at the root pretty much all over where you want it. So the front, a little bit of the sides, the crown of course, and the top. You basically wanna defy a little bit of gravity. Now for you at home, you could definitely put your head upside down, tip your head to the side, whatever works for you. But the idea of just sort of hooking the hair with the brush and then using that high speed and high heat it will really activate the mousse and give you lots and lots of volume. Our roots are already done, so I'm just going mid shafts to the ends. For this particular look, I am pulling the hair forward because I want to sort of give a little bit of the pushed away from the face look, making sure to use that nozzle all the way down to the end. That way you get a nice smooth effect, you know, kill all that frizz if there's any. All the hair sort of falls out of the brush and kicks back away from the face. I'm gonna do this with the actual front of the hair as well. So once again, smooth it all the way to the very ends and then you'll see it just fall off the brush perfectly. What I'm gonna do here is just repeat on this side and then get to the crown. So this whole thing, you wanna kinda get that blow dryer right at the base of the root pushing that hair the opposite direction, which means towards the face. See, when the hair pushes forward, this way you can sort of let the section kind of fall over and then it cools off in that direction. And you're thinking, well, wait a minute, it looks flat. Well, 
that's great because we're actually cooling it off forward so that at the end when we go to push the hair back boom it bounces up and you've got long lasting bouncy volume and now for the finishing touch for all of you who love hairsprays here's the Vavoom triple freeze extra dry you got the triple nozzle here just take it about arm's length away throughout the day if you go and touch it and move it it will not flake on you you can truly see the blend of all those layers and you can see all the separation this is where all the layers really come alive and the great thing about it too is you can totally tone these down as well if you want to go for a sleek look well you're not going to find a, a line or a weight line in there and it just melts all the way through making this super ideal for styling because you almost can't go wrong it's kind of a win-win all the way around the butterfly haircut well, that's just about it for today's episode covering the butterfly haircut. Thanks so much for tuning in. And don't forget to check out hair.com for more styling tutorials, tips, and products. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time.